Hey Will, so it's all weddings, weddings, weddings here at Mansfield. I could really do with their tumour right about now. Do you know who I've been hanging out with in the lack of Ed and Julia? Rory. Yeah. Well, him and Mrs B, but at least Rory talks about something other than pug. Uh, I've compiled a list of, for want of a better term, Roryisms, things that Rory has actually said. Um, I watched the film Train Spotting, but it wasn't actually about train spotting at all. Isn't a duck like a water chicken? Is that a very small dog, or is it just in the distance? Can I have a Big Mac? He asked while we were in Burger King. Which one's Ed Miliband? Oh, wasn't he in Les Mis? What kind of animal is Peter Rabbit? I can't remember. Why is there a best man at weddings? Isn't the groom meant to be the best man? Does that make the groom the second best man? Oh, bless him. I mean, he is so sweet and so loving and he's definitely fun at you, even if he doesn't mean to be. He's the polar opposite of Rhea, really. I know they say that opposites attract, but I'm not so sure in this case. I'm just worried about this wedding, Will. I'm, wor I'm worried for Rhea and for Rory. I don't want to see Rhea throw herself into a life that she doesn't want. When they first were engaged, I think they thought that it could be love. But now I think that it's just... Money and adoration? Oh, Mary, I wasn't expecting visitors. Sorry, I was bored and I thought you might like some company other than Rory. And I couldn't help overhearing what you were saying. Oh, God. You may live in the highest room in the tallest tower, but that doesn't mean it's soundproof. <laughs> Don't worry, there's nobody about. Just me. But if you're busy, I can come back no, later. No, no, it's good to have company that's somebody other than Rory. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't want you to think I was being, well, judgmental. No, no. I think ugh, the horrible thing is that you might be right. You know, I mean, I hope for Rory's sake that we're not. <laughs> Rory really say all these? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God bless him. <laughs> but he is young. They, they both are. Maybe they'll get wiser with age. And being married, they can learn from each other. And maybe managing the Southerton together will give them the kick into the maturity that they need. I don't envy Rhea, but Rory's really lovely. And she's going to live a lovely, peaceful life. And it means we get to go to the Southerton lots. Don't remind me. Well, I, for one, will be taking advantage of the Rushworth hospitality as much as is politely possible. Do you think things would have been different if... No. You can't stop now. Come on, Frankie. If you and Henry had come to Mansfield sooner. And Rhea had met Henry first. Don't know. He's your brother. He's an ass. I love him, I do. But he is. Him and Rhea... I know they've been misbehaving, but in all honesty, it's just a bit of fun. And Rhea's not going to fling herself into a loveless marriage just because some cocky idiot happens to kiss and run. Henry left as soon as Mr Bertram got back. If that's not a blatant display of immaturity, I don't know what is. Rhea's better off with Rory. And Henry's better off in London. I mean, I think being in the countryside scares him a little. You know, seeing the same people day after day. I don't think I'd mind staying here indefinitely, if you know I had a reason to. Uh, the video's probably getting a bit long, so I should stop. Oh sure, I'll bugger off. Yeah. But that reminds me, I have a day off on Saturday, so if you have any free time... Oh, Saturday's my day off as well. Fantastic! I was thinking we'd go get a coffee. How long has it been since you've left this hotel? Yeah, coffee would be lovely. Okay, I was thinking about two. Cool, see you then. Okay. Perfect timing, actually, because Saturday is when Rhea is bringing over the uh, wedding planners to have a look at the reception. Look at me, though, having a social life. I'll let you know how it goes. See you later, Will. <laughs>